macular degeneration um, affects the, as the name would imply, the macula. The macula is the central part of the retina, which is the light sensitive film deep inside your eye. The macula is very important, it gives you your sharp vision, your uh, computer vision, facial recognition, reading, um, things that you really truly rely on. And macular de degeneration, as the name also implies, is when this begins to break down. It happens for a variety of different reasons. Um, mainly, it happens with age. The other issues involved in it, of course, are genetics um, and uh, exposure to certain environmental factors, such as smoking, which has also been shown to cause it to progress more rapidly. The symptoms thereof are typically distorted lines or, or missing blotches in your, in your central vision. Um, sometimes it's hard to notice. With both eyes open, you may not note that one eye is in trouble. So we typically ask people as an exercise to at least close one eye and then the other once a day or so to see if one eye is in trouble um, because sometimes the timing of the intervention makes a huge difference. Now macular regeneration comes in two basic categories. We call them dry and wet. The dry macular degeneration is the mo most common, about 90% of people. If you have macular degeneration, have this type. It is chronically progressive and slowly progressive. The vision ranges from actually quite good to um, very much affected over the course of many years. The treatment for this right now consists of avoiding tobacco products, but also a certain uh, type of vitamin supplementation, which are certain antioxidants which have been shown to slow it down and reduce the risk of further progression and vision loss. Now the more aggressive subtype is called wet macular degeneration. This degeneration is called so because you have bleeding and swelling that is painless and no one can see it by looking at your eye, but it's deep inside your eye and it causes drastic vision loss. Now this, uh, fortunately we do have excellent treatment for, um, it consists of injections of medication into the eye uh, it is not a very um, wonderful prospect, the thought of having an injection in the eye, but fortunately these medications do work wonders. The success rate are somewhere in the 90 to 95 percent range in terms of stabilizing a vision at the time at which we catch this process, and sometimes in uh, 30 to 40 percent in terms of uh, um, measurable improvement in terms of your vision. Now. Typically the way we do these injections is you come into the office, first you get examined, make sure we figure out which type that you have because these injections do nothing for the dry macular degeneration and you don't want to have to go through that procedure for no good reason. Once it is determined that you do in fact need these shots and would benefit from these shots, then we go through the whole procedure in terms of numbing the eye so that it is the, uh, you should experience minimal to no discomfort. Well, if you suspect that you have a problem with your vision, it could be uh, multiple different things. It could be something fleeting and passing. Sometimes a surface condition such as uh, allergies or dry eye could really impact your vision as well. Or it could be something much more sinister. And unfortunately, without actually uh, examining the eye, it is very difficult uh, for anyone to really give you a true opinion of what is going on. So that really the first step is to determine, is this a significant change? And if so, you should be examined and, and, and the appropriate scans and done to verify whether or not there is some activity in the back of the eye. <laughs>